Club Nation. What is the claymation? That was not a good one. Good morning, Nub Nation. Welcome to today's video. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to everybody who supported my documentary for the dream and got some for the dream merch. There's very few hats left, but if you want to grab one, they're all signed and they are hats for my documentary that came out on May 7th. If you haven't checked the documentary out yet, I will leave an Amazon Prime link in the description box and also shopbangravy.com if you want to get a signed for the dream hat. These are first generation, so once they're gone, they're going to be gone. This design is going to be discontinued. But thank you everyone who has supported the dream so far. And it makes life a lot easier for people because they just cop out and they just you know, stay in that state. And he got out of it. He just took it and said, I'm going to change the world. I'm gonna make a difference. Today, we're coming at you with a little bit of a weird one. So, I came back from the Northern California, Oregon, Washington trip, rushed in to a surf session after being on the Chelan wave for three days straight, then driving 20 hours, then flying home, and my legs were not feeling the vibes. My body was pretty much telling me to sleep, and there was fun two foot waves and I just couldn't listen to my body. And I went out, I tried an air, and I ended up tweaking my knee. If you know my history, I've hurt both of my knees multiple times. But thankfully, since I got surgery on my left knee, I've only been hurting my right knee. I feel like if I hurt my left knee, it would be catastrophic. But I hurt my knee trying some dinky air. I'm actually pretty bummed about it because it's not great. Um, it doesn't feel serious. It doesn't even feel like MRI serious, but especially because a couple years ago I hurt this same knee and I got an MRI and the results were nothing. So I'm um, assuming it's sprained or strained. It hurts to walk on. It definitely hurts to surf. Even though I stretched it out the other day and I thought that I was good to go, it came back. Like I wake up, I woke up and I was like, there's a problem here. It hurts to do squats. It hurts to put any pressure on. So I've come up with a solution for myself to check and see the forward progress. I have so much back footage from the trip. I'm going to be dropping vlogs and everything's going to be coming out late. So I have the time right now to give my body a break. So my goal is to quit surfing. For a week. Since I started my vlog in 2016, I have never stopped surfing for more. The only time that I didn't surf was when I hurt my knee before. But I don't know if I've ever stopped surfing for an entire week. Hard to say. So, here's the claim. If I can make it an entire week, maybe it will change my perspective. I feel like I surf so much that who knows? Who knows what else is out there? You know. This whole entire vlog is an experiment. Human life is an experiment. I'm trying to take the positive out of this situation and see how I feel. Probably being one of the people that surfs the most, period, in the world. <laughs> I'm trying to see how I'm going to feel if I can't surf for an entire week. So I'm going to see how addicted I am to surfing. I'm going to see how, if I can even do it. Maybe I can't do it. Maybe I have to surf three days in. Maybe I have to surf three hours in. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you everyone for all the stoke, all the support. I really hope that my knee is just a temporary issue and there's nothing seriously wrong with it. And thank you guys for the positive energy. Thank you for all the stoke, all the support. Thank you for supporting my documentary. I've had a few weeks to reflect on the premiere and it, it was mind-blowing, life-changing, everything crazy for my soul. And uh, I feel like I'm just in such a good spot. Like I'm doing the thing that I was put on this earth to do. And to me, that's a complete honor. It's a humbling feeling. And I am very grateful that you guys are along for the ride. So thank you for all the stoke. Thank you for the love and wish me luck this week for the dream. All right, so as you guys learned in the intro of this video, this is me, day one, not surfing. I'm attempting to not surf for a week for various reasons. Uh, my body hurts. And it's been literally years since I haven't surfed for a week. 
the longest I go is like one or two days. But we just got the jet ski in and uh, we're about to go dream it. Yeah, Jay Vern. Yeah. A lot of bugs. <laughs> we gotta go to like the cove where there's like no bugs. All right, we're launching. First jet ski of the season, and oh. there's buggy. We got. Oh my God, these bugs. Are they bad? Yeah, but the wind is blowing east. There should be no bugs. They're like, no! Ah, get me! We are. How far do you think we're gonna make it today? We have a hundred miles. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of bugs. So. Well, after after a two-hour load-in, waiting for other guys to get their boats, a bunch of Googans. Kind of seems like we're going to be out here for a while. I'm committed. First time testing out the hooded surf shirt out here on the jet ski. It's an absolute dream come true. Sun blocker, full blown better than sunscreen. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I'm about to catch a freaking marlin out here. No problems. No issues at all, honey. I'm gonna catch a marlin. I want one. No. They're for girls too. Check them out, wavebandit.com. The dream, the dream is real. Hooded surf shirt, you can fish in it, you can surf in it, you can jet ski in it, you can hang out on the beach in it if you're a pale dad. And that's that, we're about to hit the, we're about to hit the shore over here, so we gotta get moving, but for the dream, wavebandit.com. Off the barbecue. How long will this stay? An hour? Go feel the water on that side and then feel the water on this side. They'll be cool. tripping out. Got her. <laughs> Were you scared? Did you think I was going to leave you? No, Almost a collision. Oh, what's up? What's up? Nice, nice. Just had a bowl. Fiddle on. <laughs> My sponsorship deal. What's that say? Uh, For the dream. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What did we used to say? Speed, agility, and flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> I said if for nothing else, Stopping here at Sea Glass Beach was worth it just for this piece of glass. You just blow up the spot. Yeah, don't show it. Don't show it. Don't Go show it. Ben's the master of blowing spots up, though. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> ben, it's not funny. I shouldn't have brought you here. <laughs> sea Glass blow up. All right, guys. Where's Jim? Where's Jim? <laughs> For nothing else, stopping here was worth it to blow the spot up. <laughs> oh, Are you gonna eat that thing? No way. Fish tacos tonight, boys. <laughs> yeah, man. That's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a interesting evening. Last week, 
We were in Bend, Oregon, home of the last blockbuster. I have a friend in Bend. His name is Led. Led is the man. And here's why. I gotta get. Do you wanna want me to film you? All right, mystery box from Blockbuster, aka Lead. Lead pipe. Lead pipe. And this is this is to me, really. Everything's a present for me. Nah, 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 nah. What is it? Black lease or sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> How stoked are you? She doesn't look that stoked. No, I'm stoked. I didn't know what it could be. I thought I was a mug for a second. <laughs> Wait, what, these like OG, like never can get them ever again? Yeah, they're gone. <gasps> they actually say Ben Oregon on them. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lid. Sick. All right, guys. Fresh off of opening a gift from Igloo. I'm opening. Another. Gift. Oh my god, what is it? It's gold. It's gold, Ben. It. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is this? What? What is this? It's like R2D2. What is this? 75th anniversary. Cheers to 75 years. It's a big year for Igloo. Let's go, Igloo. Let's go. 75 years of Igloo. Ben, what is it? This is gold? <gasps> a golden black cooler. That's the sickest cooler I've ever seen. Your dad's not getting this No, one. he's not getting it. Oh, I like the present. A little baby. Is that a 75th annual pin? Oh, wow. my that lawyer. Be the best part. Relax, Amanda. <laughs> this doesn't involve you. Wow. Look how she got so excited. Wow. That is so cute. This is really nice. Love it. What can you fit in here? <laughs> Our sandwiches. All right, here we are, day three of not surfing. I am walking down to the beach with a surfboard, but it's not for me to go surfing. I am taking my niece, Naomi, my older brother, Hobbs' daughter, out, hopefully. She has been claiming that she wants to learn how to surf for about three or four years, and she gets really scared. So today we're gonna take extra time, be extra patient, and since I'm not surfing and I'm not gonna be wanting to catch waves, we're gonna give Naomi best wave of her life for the dream is what it's all about let's go check it out the waves are literally perfect for naomi to shred is today the day there she is <laughs> you stoked all right hey guys this baby has a unicorn bag yeah come out i'm tammy i'll just walk out yeah we'll just be relaxed and if you want to get on the board, if you feel comfortable, you can. If not, just hang out, you know? Play on. Whoa. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Really small. They're really weak. I just want to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Hold on one second, though. Is it fun to go fast? Yeah. I 
feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to get all of them, pal. <laughs> Naomi Thrash, day two. As a surfer, how do you feel? Good. All right. Ride. Not you, honey. What's crazy is, look at that right. Oh, close out. All right, let's have a chat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a chat about the number one selling bodyboard in the United States. The Wave Bandit Ben Gravy, 36 inch. Are you kidding me right now? And if you think that this thing's only for Groms, I'm about to show you the way. Let's go rip. We're in training. Good job, Lukey. Nice job, Lukey. Look at this boy. <laughs> Lukey! There's your step, Lukey. Yeah, Lukey. He doesn't and he does. <laughs> he doesn't even want to do it. Lukey! We're trying to get him to surf this time. Yeah, Hi, Lukey. Wow, that's a nice Come here, buddy. Come here. Right here, Lukey. Go. Good boy. <laughs> Lukey, you like that, didn't you? He's doing swimming. <laughs> he wants to get out, though. Yeah, see? Oh, right there, when they're already yeah. understaffed. First date, kind of like, nervous. Terrible there. Hey, what's up? What's up? Leland's the man when it comes to uh, tile work. Dad doesn't like his tile work. No, he does good job tile work. Dad said it was bad. It was, wasn't sealed. Oh, it's not sealed yet. No, you got to seal it. But that doesn't have anything to do with the tile. What's up? 
Nada. Yeah. Not a lot of. Not a. That's what I'm saying. Pineapple, pineapple stir fouls. Yeah. And then you just oh, mark it like that. What's up, man? One day we'll do it. The tile uh, god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna be down. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a heavy week. Actually, today's day eight, so that's pretty wild. I went Saturday to Saturday, and today is Sunday morning, so I made it. There's a couple times throughout the journey that I really felt like an addict. I felt like I needed to go surfing. I had surfing FOMO. I had surfing fear of missing out, and the waves were one foot. I can tell you right now, the flat spell really helped this project because if it was overhead and barreling, 0% chance I would have made it. I would have surfed 100%. But not surfing for a week for me is record breaking. Hasn't been done in years. And uh, my knee doesn't feel great. Almost feels like it could use another week. But we're gonna go test it out. And I mean, technically I did bodyboard. So I don't know, I rode waves. So that definitely helped with my fix of wave riding. But I can say this. Oh, and I took my knee surfing two days in a row, so that helped as well. But I can say this, I got as much stoke from taking my knee surfing, being in the water, and then boogie boarding waves as I do from surfing waves. So I think for me, and I always say this, and I always share this and say that this is the most important part about surfing. It's the spiritual part of surfing. That's why people need to stop getting so caught up on this is my wave uh you know i'm the only one that can surf here or get off my wave or whatever snaking each other and all that corny stuff like you're out there in the ocean you're getting the energy you're getting the positive ions that's what it's all about it's about being out there that's the dream the dream isn't getting the wave of the day and thinking you're the man the dream is being out there and sharing that experience whether it's with your friends or just experiencing that for yourself and uh, sharing it with like the universe. All I'm saying is you don't even have to stand up to get the feeling. You don't have to stand up and you don't even have to catch a wave to live the dream. So most of this experiment was because I hurt my knee and I had to stay out of the water or I wanted to keep myself off of my knee. But a good amount of this experiment was seeing what it's all about. So we did it for the dream. Let's go break the seal. See if I can surf after one week out of the water. In order to make sure I'm on top of my game, I'm gonna bring the eight footer down, catch a couple on that, see how I feel, and then take out the 410. Slamo's got a couple peaks, and we're dreaming. Mackie Film's back in the house. Yep, back on the camera. I thought he quit. He sent in his redder, his redder of recognition. <laughs> his letter of resignation and he came crawling back so they always come crawling back <laughs> and then he blew up the spot in his group chat so we'll see how many people show up the problem with slamo is like if you tell people to come down you can't show them video evidence you just have to say it's firing you just have to make it go fully richter you have to say it's firing and then act like you're too busy to answer your phone or else they won't come because if they see video evidence they're definitely not coming I mean, you know perry's got it coming he's like down the street all right here we go Woo. We literally waited at the bulkhead for 20 minutes because we thought you'd be in your golf cart and you skate down. Uh, dude, I don't have it anymore, the golf cart. V1? This is even better, dude. Why are you on V1? Because, I mean, I thought I was sponsored and my package must have been lost in UPS. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's bombs. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. It's like, tide's coming up, right? Yeah. Dream oh, quiver. Oh. Boogie. 410. 8 0. You always start on the 8 0, get a couple under your belt. Then you move down the line, always ending on the boogie. All right, let's do this. Woo.
All right, Nub Nation, thank you guys and girls for another amazing video. Thank you for all the support in my life and what I do. I had a great week. Whenever something daunting or kind of bad happens to me, I have the tendency to push it to the side and try to ignore it, but uh, it's not always the best thing to do. So this week, I took it upon myself to kind of face this problem head on and I did a ton of stretching and a ton of strengthening exercises for my knee and I took the week off of surfing and that's really hard for me to do. It is pouring outside. So don't mind the background noise. And that's actually really hard for me to do. The louder I talk, the louder the rain gets. But I learned some things this week. And uh, I finally did get to surf El Slamo. I felt decent. And I'm up here in Montauk, New York right now. And I ended up surfing again yesterday. And it actually went really well. Um, I'm definitely timid on my knee. And, and it's weird how fast you lose confidence in surfing with a little injury. But I think things are heading in the right direction. I, I should be good soon. And, uh... What I wanted to say was I learned a lot this week and uh, I mostly learned that I have a very full life. I get so caught up in what I do, I get so distracted and I just get so like, oh I need to get to the next wave, I need to get the next video done, I need to change the world, I need to continue to push this dream, I need to do this, 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 this. And I'm so focused that I don't get to appreciate the things around me and the things that I have. So this week was amazing for me. I always go back to the fact that I have such a great family. Jordan is an amazing person. Jordan's family. I just, I have a very full life. And the thing that I want to mention about that is a full life doesn't happen by accident. It happens from working on it. I've put time and effort into every aspect of my life. And when I'm not working on videos, I'm spending time with my family, I'm spending time with Jordan's family. I'm doing the right thing. I'm trying to like engulf myself in being around good people and I'm always trying to make decisions and just go out of my way for other people that are in my life and people who have given time to me or energy to me, I always wanna reciprocate and give it back or give even more, you know? It's an honor and a blessing for me to take my niece Naomi out surfing. That's the street that I learned how to surf on. And uh, she went out there and she got the wave of her life this week. And uh, that's an amazing thing. And that's what surfing's all about for me. Forget the rest of it. For me, surfing is about the therapeutic aspect and the soul. I could care less about anything else. So as long as you can glide, you can get that feeling. And that's all that matters. I think uh, we're scraping the surface of something special. So. I hope you guys are excited for the future, and uh, I love you. Nub Nation for the win. I'll see you next vlog for the dream. Peace.